Morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Monday yesterday. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. It is a day two. Now, before we kick off, I want to invite you to the Mindful Minute. But even before that, one thing I want to say is that yesterday, I do have to own this. Uh, yesterday was actually a day one. I know that I said it was a day three, but it's actually a day one. And so therefore today is a day two. We have uh, Mr. Babiers and Mr. Whitman back teaching PE and music with us here at Fort Seller. And unfortunately, we have lost Miss Panza as well as Miss Breeden over to Jackson Elementary uh, so that they can teach library and art over there, at least for a month. So anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves settled enjoy the moment know that our brains are going a million miles a minute sometimes we're thinking about things that are stressing us out things that make us really anxious things that make us really enthusiastic and excited things that happened in the past things that happened in the future but how many times have we just stopped and said ah oh, wait a minute i actually exist right here right now and there's actually quite a bit to be thankful for Right? It's just noticing the blessings that are bestowed on us that we so often just walk on by, running on by, and we don't stop to think about them or even to be thankful for them. All right, let's go ahead and practice this. You can use whatever technique that works for you, but let's begin by honing our senses, using our eyes, for instance. Look around and observe. Find one thing that is interesting to you and study it. Maybe it's just not even interesting. Maybe it's just something. But as you study it, perhaps you might find it interesting. And then using your ears, pause, listen, and study the sounds that are around you that you didn't notice before. And then with your nose, take a breath in. Consider the sensation of smell and what do you smell? What do you notice? And finally, with your sense of touch and your skin, what do you feel? Very good. Let's go ahead and begin with our mindful minute, allowing our bodies to settle, allowing that chair to hold us up. If our feet are on the floor, allow that floor to hold you up. Now, there are many different breathing techniques. I'm going to go back to one of my all-time favorites, which is starfish breathing. And let's go ahead and take that first breath in. Nice and deliberately, nice and slowly, and then as you let it out, allow your chest to sink, your shoulders to relax. Breathe in once again. Enjoy that breath, and as you breathe out, allow your body to settle into that chair. Now remember, part of this exercise of, is really focused. Breathe in. And your mind may end up thinking about something else. Breathe out. Not being anchored in your breathing. That's okay. And if your mind does wander, breathe in. Be kind to yourself. And simply nudge your attention back to the anchor of your breathing. And once you are anchored, breathe in. Expand your awareness to what is around you. And what is within you. Breathe out. Notice your feet, both of them, all ten toes, and your ankles. Breathe in. Notice your calves and your lower, um, lower part of your legs and your knees, your upper legs. And as you breathe out, notice your lower back and your upper back. Breathing in. Notice your belly. Put a spotlight in it as it fills with air. And then as you breathe out, Notice your chest, your shoulders, and both arms. Breathe in. Notice your elbows, your forearms, and your wrists, and your hands. And as you breathe out, notice your neck and the head that balances on top. And yes, don't forget our feelings. Breathe in. It's okay to have those feelings, but just recognize what you have today. What are you bringing to school? Breathe out and sit with those feelings because perhaps they need to tell you some sort of message. Breathe in, let them tell you what they need to tell you, and in due time they too would dissipate. 
In a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether it was a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and yeah, enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face a flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. Hopefully it has allowed you to get ready for the day because we're not talking about tomorrow. We're not talking about yesterday. We're talking about today, this present moment. And as ordinary as a moment it is, if you really study it, it's quite extraordinary. All right. Now, speaking of readiness, that's one of our three B's. Being ready for the day. Being ready to be in the cafeteria. Yes, the cafeteria. Let's not forget how we should act in the cafeteria. Some of you guys are doing a lot better, and I'm so thankful and, and grateful. Same thing with the bus. Let's not forget about the bus. Same thing about the um, hallways and in specials, right? Making sure that it, when you have earphones in Mr. Um, Whitman's class, you're not simply twirling them around. We are being responsible with our items. That brings us to our next B. Being ready also means being responsible with our items, making sure that we take the right things to class, that we take the right things back home, and that the things that we have, that we take good care of them, right? If you borrow something from somebody else, you make sure you give it back, right? And being responsible also means being responsible for other people, being a hero, right? Somebody else needs a hand, you help them. That's being a hero. Remember, there are 300 some kids right here at the school. We all have a story. There's 300 stories being written right now here at Fort Zeller, and each one of us has a role in each other's stories. And I hope that you choose to be a hero, be responsible, and finally show that you're respectful. You wanna be respectful even when nobody else is looking. You gotta give that respect to others, and then you will enjoy the benefits of what it feels like when other people respect you. Now, I did say respect is something you should give even when nobody else is looking. That brings us to the spotlight character trait for the month of March, which is integrity. Doing the right thing when nobody else is looking. Yeah, you don't need somebody to give you a bee buck every time you've done something right. And you don't need somebody to give you a pat on the back or a compliment. Doing the right thing and knowing you did the right thing, if you stop and think about it, should make you feel pretty good. And it doesn't matter if, nobody, if anybody else has seen it. As long as you know that you know that you've done the right thing, not only are you going to feel good, but I think you'll find yourself resting a lot easier too. So make sure that we practice integrity. Make sure that we take care of each other. We celebrate each other's differences. And in case you haven't heard anybody tell you this, Mr. Lynn wants to tell you, I love you and I like you just the way you are. And I mean it. Let's make it a great Tuesday. See you around.